For five years, I had battled heart trouble. Nobody knows about this. I don't think I ever told it publicly in my life. I don't tell things the devil does. I don't advertise for him. He has no right. I won't give him credit. When it's over, I like to tell it to shame him and spook him and teach him. Now, leave me alone. Always or you'll get in worse trouble. Yeah. The devil is a personality and any time he comes around you, a personality, a personality can be embarrassed. Always teach him that if he had left you alone, he'd have been in a lot better shape. Now people think that's awesome. No! You can always bring it about that way. But for five years, in the ministry of healing all over the world, I fought heart trouble. My heart would not beat regularly. It was really spooky at times, although I didn't get spooked. I went on preaching. One of the greatest crusades we ever had, I wasn't able to carry on one of the biggest institutes that we ever had that followed that crusade. And Daisy had to preach all but I think one or two of the services of the whole institute. I couldn't get on my feet. I just couldn't make it. I was at the point I felt if I would step off of a curb it would stop because it beat so irregularly. And it went on, it got worse, and it got worse, and it almost put me out of commission. We came home, we tried to get ready for the next, the next, the next crusade was Enugu in Nigeria. We'd, I had rested, tried to take it easy here, no better. I'd done everything right, no better. I jogged, no better. I kept on jogging, I kept on working out, it kept getting worse. I did something I've never done in my life, Daisy and me talked it over. I went to Tampa, Florida when she went on to Enugu and I took five days and I laid in the sun at a motel at Tampa thinking if I could just rest, read the Bible. I took tape, tapes, I listened and, and I had to be ready for that crusade coming up that enormous city of Enugu. It got worse. It was spooky. I came back. I flew on to Lagos, the capital of Nigeria, and took, I got there one week before the crusade. We decided that I would get in the tropics, I would be there, I'd be near, but I would rest for one week there in Lagos. I swam every day, I did everything right I could do. It was spooky. I was getting weaker. And one morning, I was in that moldy hotel room. You know the one I'm talking about, LaDonna. You know, Daisy, you've been in it many times. Oh, that moldy hotel. I don't mean not to put down any Nigerian, but I mean it's moldy. And, it, it, it's, and, 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 and everything's in there. And I got down on my knees, and I had, I had my French Bible, and I was reading it out loud to God. And all of a sudden, the presence of Jesus came in that room, and I was instantly healed. I was healed. I was healed. I knew I was healed before I checked it. I rejoiced and I cried on my knees, I don't know how long, just bathing my face in tears. Oh, it was so wonderful to be healed. I was strong. I was well. Hallelujah. And, and it was such a delight. And I, I didn't want to go by sense knowledge. I didn't want to check nothing. But I went ahead and ventured. And I put my hand over here. And I just felt it. And it thump, 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 thump. I don't know whether that's the right speed or not. I don't know what that means. But anyhow, it was regular. It was like a clock. I got a grandfather clock in my office. It was as regular as that grandfather clock. Anytime, anywhere, any place, in the heat, in the tropics, in the cold, whether I've preached, whether I've run, wherever it is, feel my heart thump, thump, 
thump, thump. And that's the most beautiful feeling in the world when you fought it for five years. I was healed. I know he's alive. I can trust him. His word is alive. Knowing that he's alive, I remember what he said. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You believe that? God raised Jesus from the dead. No argument. The argument's over. All that's left is a decision. Would you make a decision tonight? You make a decision? In the name of Jesus, take this Christ now. Receive him. He's alive. Let him do for you what you need. I pray in the name of Jesus, if you're sick, that you'll be healed. If you're saved, that you'll be forgiven. That if you're lonely, you'll experience his companionship as a living Savior alive in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're frightened, He's the one that gives you peace and calm and love and victory. He is alive in you. God bless you is my prayer. Hallelujah.